Welcome to Savage Tech Australia. Today we've got one of our customers cars in for a little bit of a makeover. He's got some of our existing parts in there, but today we're gonna get it in and we're gonna put a hooped bar on here instead of our hoopless. So he's got the hoopless, but he wanted to go for a more protection aggressive look. So we're gonna put the hoop, hoop bar on here now and get rid of the hoopless. Um, he's also got our existing roof platforms with our steel rails. Now, this is a good point for any, any of our existing customers. If you have our LED platform or any platform for us that matter, and you've got any rust issues with the rails, make sure you please contact us because we have rails ready to go, okay? And if we're out of stock, we'll order you new ones and we'll replace them under warranty. So if you've got any rusting issues on the rails, we'll come around and I'll show you around the other side. All right, so we're around here. Yes, we've had problems with our rails because we were having issues with our powder coating in China. We now run stainless steel rails. So if you have any rusting issues, please contact us and we will happily either send you a new set of replacement rails, just send us photos, images to sales at savagetech.com.au and we'll happily supply you with replacement rails for your platform, okay? So anyone with any issues, give us a call or if you can't get through on our phones because we're very busy, please send an email and we'll 100% get back to you, okay? Now we're gonna replace these rails today. The platform's fine. Um, his front nose, he's already replaced. Also the front nose of these, they used to be made of steel and we also had an issue. They're now made of aluminium. So if you have any rusting issues on the LED platform where the front is rusting, Okay, the nose piece, make sure you also email us and we will replace it with an aluminium model. They're very easy to replace at home, so don't think it's a big job. Okay, so that's two of the issues that we we're gonna cover on this car and get this in and fix them for him. And we're also gonna put the hoop bar on here. Now our new hoop bars and our hoop bars, all our hoopless bars, all have e-coating e e underneath the powder coating. So you shouldn't have any rust issues with those. Obviously, within reason, if you're going to the beach every weekend and you're constantly smashing it up, yes, you probably will. But everyday situations, they are powder coated, they are e-coated, so you should be fine. All right, so we'll come around the back. We're also gonna put a rear bar on because he's decided to go full driving and rip the rear bar off. These cars are quite long and the departure angle is quite crap on these. So we've designed a bar that increases the departure angle a fair bit so like we'll come around the back and you'll see the rear bars hanging up like that because it's got caught i got my rear bar caught on my car when i first got one of these i think on the second day i took it out literally it's brand new i took it out ripped the rear bar off so we've developed a bar that's a flush bar and we'll show you that now all right so as you can see this bar has been caught on this corner and it's ripped up it's currently facing the sky okay so normally when you're climbing out of anything or any any obstacles any off-road scenarios when you're trying to get out of it this rear lip always gets caught hung up and rips up and bends up now our rear bar will make it flush so you'll get rid of this overhang so that's further away from the rear axle okay so our rear bar makes it nice and flush it has integrated reverse lights reverse lights you don't have to hook them up if you don't want to that's totally up to you but it comes with the lights included and you need to supply your own wiring and harness, okay? And obviously customize how you want it wired. The rear bar where we're putting on this car also has an integrated tow bar. So we're putting on a rear bar with an integrated tow bar. So let's get it in the workshop and let's get it done. So we're in the workshop, got the car ready to go on the hoist. This is our small workshop. We're about to relocate in about a week. So your next video probably coming out will be in our new warehouse. Can't wait to get in there. We'll have more space, more workshop space, more warehouse space, more parts for you. Um, anyway, so this is the rear bar. So it comes all with the blind spot monitoring panels. So you can put your blind spot monitoring in there with no issues. It is exactly the same. We've 3D scanned it. So it's the same angle as your factory um blind spot monitoring okay it comes with the acrylic with a nice surrounding around there 
Reverse lights, don't take note of this logo. Uh, for this car, we're using a Ridge Rider rear light, but we supply lights with it. So exactly the same as these, just doesn't have Ridge Rider written on it. Okay, then you've got your three ton tow capacity um, rear tow bar. We'll come around and have a look at the back of this now quickly. So you can see in the back here, we've actually done a lot of testing in this in Melbourne, um, sorry, in Sydney. In Melbourne, our bull bars get crash tested. In Sydney, this got tested for the tow rating. Uh, it costed us quite a lot of money to get it uh, rated. So this is a full three ton capacity with no issues at all, okay? It's solid, look at it. One big solid piece of um, steel running through here. We've got all the bracing that rounds down and picks up the factory factory tow drop down point, the, the tie down points on the GWM Cannon. Okay, so you've got that there, no issues at all. All right, so these are the blind spot monitoring holders. On this first generation, you've had to bend this tab flat to get the blind spot monitoring in because it was a defect. However, we've only got 10 of these bars left. Oh no, so probably we've got three, I think, left of these bars um, that you'll have to obviously bend that straight, that tab. But they'll mount there, your blind spot monitoring goes, locks into here, okay, with a screw. Okay, your cable faces outwards and that's where your blind spot monitoring goes. You got this front panel. Make sure when you get these, you wire these up. So you have to wire these up. That's for your number plate light to make it all ADR and legal in Australia. So we'll come around here now. Okay, that goes on like that. Number plate goes on there. And yes, my original version of this had our winch cradle on it. It was too much messing around and I was like, no one's gonna really run a real wrench. My car's got the rear winch cradle on it. It's a pain in the ass to install. So we've deleted it. We're not, we're not having that as an option. However, the cutout's still behind there for a winch cradle. Okay, so that goes on there, nice and flush. Um, and the number plate gets mounted on here, obviously the correct way, which is that way. So you've got all these parking sensors, your two parking sensors on your rear, you knock these out and your factory parking sensor holders go in here. So you've got parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, three ton tow capacity, all compliant in Australia, all tested in Australia. And um, you've got a nice rear bar that improves your departure angle, looks sexy. So let's get it on the car. Woo! So we've also gonna, whilst the car's here, the customer also wanted to do an intercooler upgrade and a hose upgrade. So we're gonna put upgraded hoses on here now. Um, much stronger, much more durable, durable. A lot of these have been exploding. So you can order these at savagetech.com.au, our intercooler, and we're gonna be doing some um, testing on the dyno, make sure it's all good. And this is already running a stage one ECU tune from us. So it makes some decent power and this customer loves to do towing. So he'll be feeding back information on how it feels with towing with the new intercooler because these get a lot of heat soak when you're towing up big mountains. Let's get the intercooler piping on, let's go. All right, so whilst Martin's car's in, we've decided he's been complaining about his knocking on his transfer case. Every time he takes off, it goes kabang. Anyway, 
So we're gonna change the transfer oil in the transfer case now. So to do that, you're gonna undo this down here and the one up here. Okay, so this is gonna be your draining plug and your filler plug. So let's get that all underway and let's go. Martin, shut up. Turn your phone off. Sorry, ladies. You're a shitbox. Right, it is my wife. I don't answer. I get in trouble like YouTube. Hurry up. Hello, my love. I'm on a video. A few moments later. So we've drained the oil. We're going to put this back in now. Make sure it's tight and we're going to start filling it back up. So if you're having any knocking issues on takeoff, this should fix it. Fuck, how long does it take to do this? <laughs> Okay, so now we're doing the pumping. Every pump is 20 mils. <laughs> All right, so we filled it up 30 years later. I think I'm 50 now. And um, it's running out, so that means it's full. So we're gonna literally pull this out and put our little nut back in and away we go. We've got Martin's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> We've got Martin's car. We've got the bull bar on. We've got light bars going galore. Let's go. Flash them. Oh, we're blind. Okay. We've got the 20 inch integrated light bar and the 32 inch integrated light bar on the roof. We've replaced all these rails now. So they've got the stainless steel powder coated rails in there. So we won't have any rusting issues. It's been a long day. We've also done a transfer case oil change on it. So the car drives beautifully now. This has got a stage one tune on it. What else have we done to this today whilst it's been here? Lots. It's seven o'clock at night. We've had some fun and uh, we've got the rear bar. Let's go check it out. So we've got the rear bar on nice and flush, no longer hanging off. All the blind spot monitoring integrated, reverse lights are wired up. Parking sensors are all wired up in. Number plate lights in. Tow hitch ready to go. Anderson plug, seven pin plug, and you, I oh, was it a 12? 12 pin plug, sorry. Just delete that, yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> All right, so we've got the reverse lights, Anderson plug, 12 pin plug, tow bar ready to go. We just need the tongue to go in there, which he's already got one, so he's gonna use his at home. And then we've also even got a bolt on the bottom here the bolt goes in and that tightens the tongue so it doesn't rattle in there. All your safety chain points are on there, ready to go. There you go. It's been a long day. Let's have, I mean, we'll show you the platform. Platform's on here. I also tidied up some of his wiring as well um, on the, he's, he's, he's got, we've shortened them as well. So it's easier for him to plug in anyway, just temporary. I helped him just quickly tidy it up. Um, so we've got the new rails on, all the powder coating, they're all stainless, ready to go. So there you have it. Another car done. Well, it was already built, but we just tidied it up and added some new additional parts to it. And just, he wanted a hoop bar because he's going to be doing some traveling possibly up to Cairns. So he just wanted a bit more protection. That's the reason he went with this bar. So there you have it. Head to savagetech.com.au, like and subscribe. Peace out, have a good one. <laughs>